Alright guys, welcome back to a quick video. Just want to talk about uh, driving a uh, manual versus an automatic and why I why I went to a, a manual this time around. Um, it, it's pretty simple really. Uh, I definitely in, enjoyed my... Uh, sorry if the camera's a little shaky, I'm trying a new mount. Uh, but I'm definitely... I definitely considered buying another automatic but i just felt like in this car man it, it just it just deserved to be a standard a lot of people have their differences on why they wouldn't drive a standard versus an automatic and i've i've been kind of checking out the forums and things like that and a lot of people are saying pretty much that it's just because they don't want to bother with the gears and everything they don't want to bother changing gears and stuff like that and also i think more people daily drive their car than some of the people in the forums um, I don't daily drive this car. I've been getting out, having a little bit more fun with it. Uh, but uh, other than that, man, I mean, I'm uh, about a month and a half, two months with the car, and I'm, I'm rolling up on 500 miles. I'll be at 500 miles by the time I get back home. Uh, but um, I definitely, you know, made some decisions with the car that I'm glad that I did. I'm glad I got a manual, uh, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the uh, modifications that I've done to the car so far. All right, guys, so I'm back at the house. Um, yeah, it was, uh, I was trying a new mount for the car and I didn't like how it was turning out. So I decided to just cut that off and uh, come back to the house. I was going for a cruise or whatever. Um, yeah, but you know, driving a manual versus a, um, uh, an automatic, it definitely is, is, it depends on the person. You know, it, it, there's nothing wrong with driving automatic. I have several automatics. Uh, but I've I've learned from where I sit, if you want a sports car, uh, if you have the option for a manual, it is definitely the way you should go uh, if you know how to drive a manual. And I've also learned that probably only like 20 percent or less of the world actually still knows how to drive a manual have ever learned. That's strange to me, but a hey, it is what it is. When I came up, pretty much all the cars were standards, four on the floor, three on a tree. I mean. It was just the thing, and and uh, now, unfortunately, uh, I think three of my children don't know how to drive a standard, man. Try to teach them, but they just don't have the patience, I think. Um, well, I only try to teach two of them, uh, and, uh, but, you know, one of them, you know, they, they have it, but mm, it's going to take some practice, and now that I've lowered this car, it's going to have to be on a smooth surface um, to, to, find, to finish up that lesson. Because I did start teaching one of them. Uh, one, of, I think the oldest one knows how to drive a standard. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, if you drive a, a automatic, I don't think there's anything wrong with driving an automatic. From my experience uh, with driving an automatic, the fun factor isn't there for me. I don't care how sporty. I mean, remember, there was a C8 Corvette sitting right here. And if you've been watching my channel long enough, there was a wide body Challenger. There was plenty of scat packs, Durangos. All these things are automatics and they are fast and fun. But that fun factor just isn't the same if you're not rowing your own gears. At least for me, it's not. So, you know, again, I've been looking through the forums and things like that, uh, the Mustang forums. And a lot of people just don't want to drive a standard. They, they say, oh, it's a lot of stop and go traffic. And I definitely understand that. If there's a lot of stop and go traffic, uh, a standard can be very annoying. Uh, you just got to keep dropping it down. And, you know, it, it could be somewhat annoying. But... Uh, I've, this car has been in plenty of stop and go traffic and it just, I, I, I guess I'm, I'm not as stressed because this isn't a daily driver. There's a Tesla right behind this camera. There's two trucks outside. Um, and it's just going to come down to your preference. But if someone asks me, Hey, you know, what should I get? I have the option to get a manual and I know how to drive a manual. This is going to be my car that I'm going to have some fun with and rip it up every now and then. I'm going to probably tell them to get a manual. Yeah, I would definitely tell them just get a manual. Why not? You might as well have some fun. So with that. 
There is way too much fun to be had in driving a manual versus an automatic. Way too much fun. I mean, too much fun. And this engine right here just screams when you shuffle through the gears. It just sounds way too good, man. It's way too good. This this engine is this this Mustang engine right here is way too good to it's nothing wrong with the automatic. It, it sounds like I don't I have something against, you know, people who bought an automatic, but it's just not the case. It's just a matter of I have this car and whoa, it's so fun. And then now I've slammed it down a little bit. Oof. Well, I actually put it put it down. Uh, it's even better for me. I can I can feel the road, man. And it's definitely why my mount that I was that new mount I was trying was probably shaking so much for the way it was mounted up because the car is low to the ground uh, and it, you can you, it's not it's a smooth ride, but you can get all the bumps and everything. So, uh, yeah, manual for me. I'm glad I got a manual. I don't think I would have done it any other way. Uh, and right now, as the car sits, uh, it's it's sitting beautiful. I don't think I would change anything on it. So for now, uh, this is the car. This is what it looks like. And I, I got to tell you, I'm totally happy. Totally happy with the way it's turning out so far. I did order some more parts, so be on the lookout for that video. Uh, but for now, I'm still rolling on this stock pretty much everything except for suspension and wheels and i got a strut bar on there now this is pretty much a stock car uh, so anyway manual versus automatic why did you get an automatic or why did you get a manual in the mustang let's talk about it in the comments see you in the next one take care